Okay. Good morning. It's Nikki with So You Pick. So I wanted to, I've been wanting to film this um, while it's light out so we have better lighting. Um, let me adjust this. Um, if you can recall, I'm the worst videographer, but uh, I put these videos out there, so I'm trying. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm actually just going to make it to my body size, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to make it a two-toned. So for the body, it's going to be this black. The first thing you want to do, this is, oh shoot, I'm drawing a blank right now. I got this fleece from Joann's and this is the anti-pill. Oh, thank you. Okay, anti-pill. I like the anti-pill because I don't think the, the fleece piles. So first thing first is you're gonna take your measuring tape and you're gonna measure how long you want it. So I like mine long. So because they're gonna be made of fleece, I want them to cover my bum. So I'm gonna go about 28, 29. These don't have a finished edge. So I bought this, like I said, I just bought it from Joann's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this fleece, I'm folding it over, okay? Because you want it double. You're not going to have any seams or you're not going to have, you're not going to have to stitch them at the shoulder. And I want to cut this across at 29. How did I get 29? I wanted it 28 in length, so I just added an inch. So this will be to my size. And that's 34, so I don't need that long. And this is going to probably be a couple parts. Um, I'm just getting ready to go to work. So I wanted to make this really quick. In my videos, when I show you how to make stuff, I do them real quick. So. Okay. So I'm going to go down just a little bit because it is not totally even. You can see the material, it's kind of like, it's got a do-do-do. So I'm going to just cut across straight right here. I'm just going to cut across. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put this material away. I'll make, probably make another one at least out of this. And then... So now I'm going to cut out my body. So if you've watched my videos, you've seen how I show you how to measure yourself. So from my center to my shoulder, so like the center right here, your center to your shoulder, mine's about nine, but I'm going to go 10 because it'll just hang over. I need a total of from your center over your shoulder and down your to your wrist. I need to get to at least 32. So this is where I start doing math. So I do, so my center to shoulder. So basically from here to here is gonna be 10 inches. And then my sleeves need to be at least 22 inches. So I'll do 22 inches, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a cuff. This is kind of, hold on, my screen looks fuzzy. Let me see, uh-oh. Okay, maybe that will be better. Okay, oh, I think that looks better. I don't know. Okay, so my sleeves are need, I need to get to 22, so I'll do a four and a half inch cuff and I will do an 18 inch sleeve and that gives me 22 and a half. We need to allow for seam allowance. So really I'll do a five inch cuff because 
when you attach the center, the shoulder to the sleeves and then the sleeves to the cuff, you're gonna lose a quarter inch seam. So I need a total of that. If I'm going to do my measurements, so you do the largest part of your hips, 39. Okay, and then you do the largest part of your amoks. Okay. <sighs> Ah, Max. Okay. So we're going to say, so because my hips are 39, you divide this number by four. So if I were to do 40 inches, it's going to be a 10 inch, but I like mine looser. So I'm going to do 11 inches, which would give me 44 inches. If you're not sure what I'm doing, check out my other video on how I show you how to measure. But so basically you're going to take your material and you're gonna open it, and you're gonna fold it this way. So, and then I only need to fold it over 11 because number 44 is gonna give me the size I want. And I'm only gonna fold this over this way this way so this part here has the fold this is where my neck would be this is where my butt will be so i'm only going to fold this over 11. Mommy, huh got you got glasses okay that's 11 but i'm going to go up a little bit more Bigger. yeah Mommy. what yeah cheese all right cheese cheese Okay, I'm at 11, this way, okay. Bye Nemo. Bye Nemo. So I'm going to go up this way. This measurement down, so where you start your curve here, you could take and measure from your shoulder down about right, like here, kind of, this would be under your arm here. So I go down about between 10 and 11. So that you would go. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's no water. So I'm going to just start cutting. I'm going to add a curve. Don't start your curve here. Go this way. Maybe it would be better if you saw. No, no, no. Don't play with that. That's mommy's. That's mommy's. Owie. Let's go this way. Owie. If that will help. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to move you guys around. So sorry, you guys are going to get seasick. Hey, no, that's mommy's expensive machine. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Hey, where's Dingo and Booty? That's Owie. Where's Daniel? That's yeah, Owie. Yeah, yeah, that'll get you. That's Mon Owie. Monster will get you. <laughs> Yeah, we don't play with mommy's mommy, surgery. Mommy, mommy. Okay, so I'm gonna cut here. No. You're okay. Yeah, are you watching JJ? Oh no, no movies. Okay, so it's a little it's eleven and a half. It's okay though. The thing is, is it's better to go wider than smaller. So I'm just gonna keep moving this up and I'm gonna keep going. All right, remember I said center to shoulder was 10, but because this is only 11 and I was gonna go 11 or 10, I'm gonna go 10, if that makes sense. So I make a cut here at 10. And then I'm going 10 down, let's do 10 and a half, cause that was my measure from here, here. And you wanna make sure it's enough room so you can go like this. Cause you wanna be able to hug your body. So then I'm gonna just go like this. And I just cut it at a curve. You can go straight down if you want. Ah, you can go straight down if you want to. Um, it's just your preference. Okay, so the body's cut. You're gonna do your neck hole. So I was always taught two thumbs, which is about an inch, 
two thumbs here, and then you measure your pointer goes on your jawbone and your, your thumb goes on your clavicle like this. So mine's about six. So I go about five and a half. Okay, then you always make sure that it goes on and off okay. Then you're gonna fold it out hot dog style this way. And then you're gonna do one more thumb. Only on one side though, don't pick two sides. Now, now you're going to fold it out this way, okay, and then fold it in half. You're gonna cut your sleeves out now. So what I do here? There we go. Okay. So you're gonna take. I forgot to mention fleece stretches one way, this way, or this way. When you're doing when you're doing the arms, you want to make sure the arms stretch around this way, and then the body, because I know how it go, because I know the fold of it or the stretch of it. I just cut it, but the way that I folded it, it stretches this way. So you want it to stretch around your body. So this is folded, right? You're going to lay the body of your best book down like this. You want a little bit of an extra here, okay? A little bit of extra. That might be a little bit much, but it's okay because I'm not going to use this. So my sleeves are going to be 18. Remember, I need to get to 32. That's what I need to get to. So this is here. I can cut it at 28 or I can move this and cut it at 18. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Now your wrist measurement. I usually go like five and a half or five and three quarters. That gives you 11 or 11 and a quarter, I think. I'm doing math on the fly right now. So cut up to that, and you just cut to the diagonal here. When you do a curve, you want to come a little bit down. So here's where my, where's my uh, sleeve ends, and so I'm just going to make it a little bit longer, okay? And I'll show you. So... Just a little bit. That's about an inch, but that might even be too much. So you're just gonna cut one more. Because I'm doing coordinating, like a hood and a pocket, I don't need this material anymore. So you guys have good ideas on what to do with scraps of fleece. I'm all ears. You just got one more. Okay. So I can use this black for probably a hood or a pocket or whatever. Clock here. Well, not on the clock yet. We're gonna get be on the clock here pretty soon. Okay, seven fifty one. So I think I can just cut it today. All right. So here is my pocket pattern. This is what I've always liked. I've always used. This is fourteen and a half down, nine and a half wide five inches wide up here with the curve. I'll probably use this and just shrink it down a little. So for measuring out, I'm gonna do a cross hood 
like a, it's gonna cross. So I need to measure how long this hood is, the opening. And that's about 14. So I'll make the cross 16. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Okay. So, and then for cuffs, I like to do, I like to use knit material. So this material I got at Joann's, same thing. Um, I'm going to just cut out my, it is anti-pill. So I like that, like I said, I like the anti-pill. Um, and yeah, so I just bought these. If you want to, I can share in the, in the notes, the links to these. If you want to, just let me know. Okay, so I'm going to cut out my hood first. I need to fold this over at least to 16, so this way, so, perfect, 16, and then I'm going to cut it across at 16, so I'm just going to cut it so I can show you how to do this. Okay, I'm going to cut out my... And the stretch on this is stretching this way. That's what you want. I'm gonna cut out my pocket now. Because these are fleece, excuse me. I don't, um, I don't line the pockets. So you could line them if you wanted to. Um, but I won't. Okay. body and I'll see if I want to shrink I don't know if I want to shrink it but I will even this out right here okay perfect that's good so pocket sleeves hood okay so this is my hood. The way I was taught was you do, this is your gooseneck right here. This would be the back, this would be the front. So this is your gooseneck. So I put a little bit of a gooseneck back here, okay? I like my hood faces to come out about 11. So with the, from 11 and because I'm doing a cross, I'm going to come at it at an angle like this. So let me just make a snip and then I'll show you how. So I'm just going to come, actually this is better. Come this way and I'm just going to go at a diagonal. Okay. And then I just add a little bit of a curve here. Okay. And that's it. For my cuffs, I can cut out my cuffs right now. Mm, what color do I want to use? I think I'll use, I like this burnt orange. Okay. For my cuffs, this is just a, I think this is a double brush poly from Joann's. So, stretchy is this way, right? Stretchy. And because it's for me, I know my measurement that I'm going to do around here is going to be, I'm going to fold this up five, cut it at 10. Okay. That's what I'm going to cut it at because the circumference of that is going to be 10 inches around my wrist. Okay. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut two. Cut one at ten. One at ten. 
tell my kids are starting to fight about the TV. Okay. All right. So that's it. They're cut. Everything is cut. Now all you're ready to do is sew. I have a Janome Memory Craft 6600 that I'll be using, and then I have an industrial serger that is a Juki. So I will show you in the next video how to put this together. So stay tuned for part two. Buena, Chuck Norris.